This is the sun. That ghost sun? How do you know? The sigil. It matches the dagger we found in his father's back. He stood his ground, but it was not enough. They betrayed him. Betrayal begets betrayal. My guess, the young one murdering his dad didn't sit well with the others. He thought himself ready to lead. It cost him his life. I guess. Look there, lad. By his feet. The whetstone! Yes. They used it to smash his face in. They did? Ew. Reavers have very specific priorities. If it's not shiny and you can't eat or drink it, might as well use it as a blunt object. Here. Boy. There's a scroll here. It belonged to the sun. Wow. This goes on and on. Father, forgive me. Filled with remorse. Forget my actions. Hmm. Had he thought before taking action, there would be no need for regret, yes? Yeah. Maybe we should bring this to his father. Back at the store. <laughs> says, false leader. I've seen it written all over this place. Look here. Treasure map. All right.
You didn't happen to find the whetstone, perchance. We found your whetstone. Oh, wonderful! This staining is unusual. The Reavers used it to smash another Reaver's face in. Oh, wonderful. Here, for your trouble. I can't wait to test out the new whetstone. It may not look like much, but it's practically humming with magic. I've needed a new one after my brother borrowed the last one. I saw him spit on it. To lube it up, he said. I didn't ask for it back. Hey, did you hear? Magni, the Aesir god, son of Thor, dead! I know! Now Modi's on a rampage across Midgard, looking for the killer, swearing that once he finds him, he'll... Oh, shit, that was you guys. We should probably discuss that more quietly. Or not at all. I think that's a great plan. Did you really make that axe for my mother? Oh, I'd recognize it anywhere. Ask me. It's one of our best. Infused with the echoing screams of 20 frost trolls. Give or take. But why her? How did you know her? She sought us out in the beginning. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. I suppose we thought it was a chance to give power to someone who'd use it for good. She even spoke our native tongue. She'd say, Madhurin Sem Gengur, Egen Vigum Hans. Gengur I. That's right. That's impressive. I see a lot of her in your eyes. You know? Thanks, and Don't I... touch me. What? I didn't. I won't. I'll come back later. Be careful where you're going. There's nobody nice out here anymore since all the people left. I mean, I hate to generalize, but, um, mostly they just try to kill you. Good tip. Um, I know it's not my business, but if I were you, I'd wash off that symbol painted on your neck. We were told it would help protect us. Was that a lie? Oh. No, it's a protection stave, all right, but you can't render that pigment into paintable texture without blending it with boar urine. And is that really better than death? Maybe a little. Well, well it's your neck. <laughs> Sindri, have you always been so... Clean? Huh. Don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny beasties on everything around us. Oh, so small you can't even see them. No. It's true. And if they get inside you, they make you sick. But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent. Stops the beasties from spreading. So now, I make all my handles from oak. See? I think of these things. Okay, back to work. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Why? Oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals using... Ugh. ...his own bare hands. Ugh. No gloves. Says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be. Touch enough raw silver and it changes your skin irreparably. That means forever. I wouldn't bring it up to him, though. <laughs> You know how sensitive he can be. I guess that makes sense. Sindri, why don't you just make up with your brother already? Me? Make up with him? Because he's an obstinate pighead incapable of change. Because he says the most terrible things about me just because he's insecure about his own work. Which, let me tell you, is subpar. Because he blames me for... for the things that aren't my fault. Huh? Like what? Would you pardon me, please? I need to collect myself. <laughs> <laughs>